Brittany, and we're back on August 2nd. So check out our reopening plan, but first, I want you to meet our all-star team. I'm Justin. I'm Rex. I'm Tyler. I'm James. I'm Crystal. And I'm Britt. We're here to fill you in on what you can expect as we reopen our Kenosha and our Racine campuses. Now we're going to be talking about a ton of things today like kids ministry and student ministry and what's going to happen to our online community. But don't worry, we're also going to answer your most important question that every single person is wondering. Will there be coffee? And so we're so excited to have you with us today. And so without further ado, I'll kick it over to my friend Justin. Well, thanks, Britt, uh, for introducing me. Again, my name is Justin. I'm so glad that you're taking a minute to watch this video. It's not always, or maybe even once in a lifetime, that you get to say we're living through, and hopefully soon lived through, a pandemic. But I know it's done so much for me uh, as an individual as I just reconsider all the things of life in this crazy last couple of months. And I'm sure it's doing the same for you. But I know it's also redefined for me what community looks like. And here's what I hope. I don't know um, what your comfort level looks like, but for some of us, church uh, and gathering looks like this space. For others of us, it might look a little bit more like this. Or maybe for the foreseeable future, it looks like this. I just want you to know, however you choose to connect with us, we are so grateful that you're finding time to be in community, to redefine in these times what it looks like to be the people that make up the church. I want to introduce you now to Crystal. So let's address the elephant in the room. When you're ready to return to church, things are going to look and feel different as we work towards our new normal. We want you to know that your safety is our priority. So we are upping our sanitation measures to make you feel comfortable. To start, we're gonna be wiping down surfaces, we're gonna be cleaning high traffic areas, and after our second Sunday service and WOW services, we're closing down our lobby early for you to practice social distancing and for us to be able to do deep cleaning. We've also implemented a sticker system. You will choose between green and red. Green means I'm ready for fist bumps, high fives, and hugs. Red, not so much. You need some more personal space. We also want you to know, while we're not requiring masks, we want you to feel comfortable wearing one if you'd like. And maybe you just wanna wear it to show off your cool mask. That's fine too. But the big question is, will there be coffee? Drum roll, please. Yes, there will be coffee. So if you need that caffeine boost, we've got you covered. Hey, as you're getting your coffee in the morning, your student is probably just gonna run off to the student ministry world where they're engaging with their friends and hanging out with their favorite leaders. And man, have we missed them a ton. And of course, all their love for the TikTok dances, whatever the dance is. But hey, our high school community is gonna continue to meet through the month of August at various leaders' homes and maybe some parks throughout the community. And we wanna let you know when those gatherings will be. So make sure to pay attention to your text messages, your Snapchat if you got one, your email, because we're gonna be just trying to communicate the best that we possibly can with you to let you know when those gatherings are gonna be taking place because we wanna hang out with your high school student. And just like you've been hearing on August 2nd, our middle school community is gonna be back together 10.30 a.m. on Sunday. And we're gonna be doing some familiar things. We're gonna be having some games. We're gonna be doing a lesson. And of course, our small groups are super important to us. Now you might be thinking, Tyler, that all sounds very normal. What are you doing differently? Well, your student's safety is at the forefront of our mind and we wanna make sure that your student is safe right when they walk in the door. So we're gonna be deep cleaning our rooms before your student even arrives here on Sunday morning. We're gonna be playing strategic games to kind of limit some of those touch points between the students and all of our volunteers are gonna be wearing masks on Sunday morning as we engage and love on your student. Oh, and there's hand sanitizer in the room that we're gonna beg and plead your student to use as they walk in and as they leave and throughout the morning. Like I said, we're super excited for your student to be here on Sunday morning. And I'm sure James is super excited to see your kids here on Sunday morning too. So let's see what he's talking about over in the kids ministry world. We definitely have missed your kids and we cannot wait to see them here in just a couple of weeks. 
So there's a few things that we want to let you know about when we start up again in August. First of all, volunteers, they're going to be wearing masks when they watch your kids. Secondly, we are up in our game when it comes to cleaning our rooms and environments. We're also going to be keeping an eye on um, our room capacities and making sure that we're not going to be overcrowded and that kids have enough room for social distancing. Most importantly, we want to continue to show your kids love and teach them about Jesus' love and the plan that he has for their life. Guys, we have not forgotten about you, the biggest kids of all. And to tell us a little bit more about that, we're going to go to Rex. Thanks, James. Now, when you make your way to one of our auditoriums, come on in, find a seat, and get comfortable. But here's one thing that we ask of you. When you sit down, please leave two seats between you and the group of people sitting to your right or to your left. This will allow for some social distancing as well as keeping everybody safe and healthy. Now, if watching the service from inside the auditorium is not your thing yet, we understand. That's why in Kenosha, we've set up overflow seating or here in Racine, you can enjoy the service from one of our lobby spaces where we have TV set up around the building. But we think that you're gonna find our services very familiar. We're still gonna have great music from our band, inspiring hope-filled talks from Pastor Dave or one of the other pastors. And again, we'll have that free coffee ready for you. So if you're planning to join us at either Kenosha or Racine in person on Sunday, August 2nd, we can't wait to welcome you inside of our buildings. But we also know that some of you aren't quite ready to join us in person. And you will continue to join us from the online campus at your homes. And I just want to say that you are welcome as well. In fact, we want you to know that you are just as much a part of the life of this church as those who will be in person with us on Sundays. We are one church with multiple locations. So we're all glad that you're here with us. Now, Britt, close us out. Wherever you are, however you choose to be a part of this church, here's what I want you to know. We're just really glad that you're here. So whether you join us in Kenosha, whether you join us in Racine, or whether you join us from behind a screen, we just want you to know we are so honored to have you a part of our Great Lakes Church family. We hope that we've answered all your questions, but if we haven't, here's what you can do. Go ahead, drop us a comment below, and our team will respond as soon as we possibly can. We can't wait to see you soon. Have a great day.